It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this special edition of Science Bowl. We started with 16 middle schools. We're down to our final four, the first of our semifinal games today. Let's meet today's competitors. First, from Martin Luther King Jr. Middle School, please say hello to Zachary Landau, Liam Greaves, and his sister, Ann Therese Greaves. And from Thomas Pullen Middle School, we say hello to Mark Anthony Thompson, Nadia Holness, and Bryce Hurling Spears. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. For having made this far in our competition, all of today's players will be taking home as tokens of our esteem Audubon Field Guides in their choice of topics, mammals, birds, reptiles and amphibians, or insects and spiders. And should one of these two teams go on, as one of them will, into the final game and win this year's championship, this is the plaque and individual plaque that they will be taking home for themselves and for their schools. So there's a lot at stake today and just so nice to have you back. Let's tell you about our board. Our board is arranged so that the easier questions are on the left worth 5 and 10 points. The tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds, we will have the first of our two finalists in this year's middle school competition. Let's make sure everything's working properly. Let's go to King and Liam. Would you try that buzzer for me? That's a group push. That's a trademark of the King team. Good luck to you, to Zach, and to Ann Therese. And Nadia, would you try yours? All right, it looks like it's in good shape as well. Try that one more time for me. Okay, that looks good and sounds good. You and Bryce and Mark Anthony, nice to have you guys back as well. Let's have a great game. I know how evenly matched you guys are. Let's, do a, let's have a, a super time. M before T, so let's start our game with Martin Luther King. Liam. Let's get physical for 15, please. Get physical for 15 points to start our game. Teams in Japan and elsewhere, many people are taking KI tablets to stave off radiation poisoning. The I stands for, go ahead, Martin Luther King. Potassium iodine, potassium iodine tablets? Absolutely right, potassium iodine. That helps to stave off radiation poisoning. Absolutely, go red. Science potpourri for 10, please. Potpourri for 10. Teams, by the end of next year, 2012, it will be illegal in the state of Maryland to put this chemical in thermometers, which we know is a strong Martin Luther King. Mercury. Mercury, a very strong neurotoxin. In much of the country, it is already outlawed. In fact, it's rare to find a thermometer with mercury today. All right, King. Body systems for 10, please. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, to replace this patellar joint, the going price is about $25,000. What joint is it? Thomas Pullen. The kneecap. The kneecap, absolutely right. Yeah, knee replacement is a big operation. That and a hip replacement. All right, Pullen, you're on the board. Go, Nadia. Zoo parade for 10. Zoo parade for 10 points. Teams, look at the monitor in the studio, please. The Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia in 2014. One of the mascots is this snow, Liam. Snow leopard? It is a snow leopard, yes. They also have a bunny and a polar bear. I was about to say you can tell this feline by its spots. Many different species. This is the snow leopard. Nicely done. 85 to 60. Red advantage yours. Go, Liam. Green things for 15, please. Green things, 15 points, teams. A Massachusetts company has chemically engineered a kind of cyanobacteria, a blue-green bacteria, to turn out ethanol and other kinds of hydrocarbon fuels instead of carbohydrates that normally occurs in what process that... Martin Luther King. 
photosynthesis? Yes, normally photosynthesis turns out carbohydrates. They have turned it around and tricked it into making fuels. What a boon that would be. We could say goodbye to oil. A little too soon to jump into that yet. Go red. Dateline for 15, please. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, your question. The 6.3 earthquake that hit Christchurch, New Zealand recently devastated the town. It was an aftershock to one that was 7.0 that occurred a month earlier, but it was turned out, it turned out that Christchurch was nearer the what part of that earthquake? Thomas Pullen. Uh -huh. The epicenter. You got that right, the epicenter. Because it was close to that, even though it was lower on the scale, it was more destructive. Go, green. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline for 10 points, teams. In this country, we cannot import Japanese milk or fruit or vegetables. So says the FDA, an acronym that stands for what? What is the FDA, Thomas Pullen? Food and Drug Association. Food and Drug Association. Ooh, very close, very close. Martin Luther King, the FDA says no Japanese milk, fruit, or vegetables. What is the FDA acronym translate to? Um, I'll pass this one to Aunt Therese. Federal Department of Ag Agriculture. Very close as well. Food and drug agency. Agency. Administration. Administration. All right. You had the food and drug part wait, right. Sorry we couldn't give that to you. 100 to 75 green advantage. Still yours, Nadia. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, this kind of upsets me. All the other planets, theirs are called like Titan and Triton and Phobos. Liam. Moons. Moon. Ours is just called Moon. It doesn't have any name. We were short. We were shorted there. All right, go red. Let's get physical for 10, please. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, until they discovered how dangerous it was, they would put this chemical element onto watch faces to make them glow in the dark. It is radioactive. Nadia? It's What you think, Pullen? What's on that watch face? Uranium. Again? Uranium. Nice and loud. Uranium. Not uranium, no. Martin Luther King, what is the chemical element, the radioactive chemical element that they used to put on watch faces to make them glow in the dark? They did that until they realized how dangerous it was. Plutonium? Radium. Radium, not uranium, but radium. Good try, both teams. Go red. Liam. Um, body systems for 15, please. Body systems for 15 points. You may remember a few months ago, a television reporter got on and she started slurring her words. People thought that she might be suffering from one of these vascular events in the brain. Thomas um, Poulin. Cardiac arrest. Hmm? Dystrophy. Dystrophy? Again? Dystrophy. Not dystrophy, no. This television reporter, they thought she was suffering from one of these vascular events in the brain. It turned out she was having a migraine headache. What did they fear she was suffering from because her words were slurred? A seizure? No. Judges? No, a stroke. A stroke is what we were looking for there. Oh, boy, that was a quick round. The buzzer says our first round is over. It's a tight match. Martin Luther King won 15. Thomas Pullen 75. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't you go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Thank you for spending part of your day with us. We're in the first of our two semifinal matches in this year's middle school competition. Six outstanding players here. You've seen them before, not just this year. Some of them were here in years previous. Let's go first to Martin Luther King, a previous school champion. You've won it all before. Maybe you'll do it again. Liam, let's start with you. First of all, tell us about your school. Who's your principal? Our principal is Miss, Mrs. Robin Wilderson. Yes, indeed, and she's a wonderful principal. I remember when she was a teacher many years ago, but she's been at King and really does a fantastic job there. And did you have any alternates on your team? Yes, we have one alternate on our team, Jada Antoine. And Jada will be out in just a few moments to join us on set. And the sponsor of your team? Our sponsor of the team is Miss Elizabeth Reyes. Yes, and she has been bringing us great teams, doing great work for many, many years. We appreciate all the work that Miss Reyes has done. Liam, tell us a little bit about Martin Luther King. What makes it a great school to attend? The teachers, the teachers push us to our limits so that we can be the best that we can be. She, they put in our mindset that we aren't just average. We are better than average. Wow. We can do what we can do. Isn't that great? You should always try to go up. It's like when you're playing tennis, play with someone who's a little better than you, so you're challenged. So if they're putting the bar high, that's always a good thing. That's a nice observation. Liam, tell me about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? Well, I love to read and play video games and play soccer. I know. I think all of you guys are soccer players. You're all musicians. Liam, what uh, instrument do you play? I play the baritone saxophone. 
That's wonderful. And your sister, Andres, you play, what, you, you've ch uh, changed. You used to play one kind of clarinet. Now I play contra alto clarinet. That's wonderful. Um, tell me about your, your goals, your aspirations. Uh, I have many things. I want to go into the arts, including drama and singing. And I do karate, so. I mean, it's not a job that I would want to do, but it's something that I w want great. to do. great. Anything you do is good preparation for your life. You're such a, a dedicated young lady. I can see how sc uh, scholarly you are. You bring an awful lot to our game. And Zachary, nice to have you back. I think this is your third year because mm -hmm. you played on the Bond Mill team, and now you've been with Martin Luther King. Your brother is part of our competition as well, back there at Bond Mill. Tell us about yourself. Now, I know you want to go to college, but you haven't decided on a specific career yet. No, not yet. Something in science, though, I imagine. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I know you're a soccer player. What instrument do you play? I play the alto saxophone. That's great. What else do you like to do? I like to like play with my friends and then like also play video games like Liam. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's it been like being on the Science Bowl for three years? Do people know you? Well, it's, like not really all of them because some people aren't like interested in this kind of thing. Yeah. And of course, now that we're on YouTube and online, people get to see us a lot more and we can send those links all over the place. Always nice to have you back. Thomas Pullen, nice to have you guys in our competition. Boy, you were out there. We didn't know where you were for years and now you're back and here you are in the semifinals. What are you doing right over there, Nadia? How did you get so good? Um, well, I mean, we practice every day or every morning. So, it, I mean. And it shows. Yeah. It shows. Practice certainly does make perfect. Who's your principal? Miss Lucas Adams. Wonderful. And uh, I know Mr. Roy Manning is your sponsor, and he's out of town with some family business as we're taping. So who brought you today? Um, our environmental instructor, Ms. Fox. Wonderful. And we thank Ms. Fox for bringing you over today. And you had an alternate on your team as well, didn't you? Yes, Maximilian. Yeah, Maximilian, uh, uh, our viola player and basketball player. He'll be out in a few moments as well. And he's dressed as these young people are. That's your school uniform, is that right? No, we have no uniform. Oh, you have no uniform. You just all wore the same color just to be on our show today. We appreciate yes. that. <laughs> and Mark Anthony, I love your tuxedo shirt, too. You look really sharp. All of you guys do. Nadia, tell me about yourself. What do you want to do someday? Um, I want to study underwater caverns or be a dentist. Yeah. A dentist, yes. And then also, well, on your weekends and your vacations, you're going to go diving, right? And go into those caverns? Yes, I hope so. You hope so. Well, that's a great goal. Keep up your good work. Bryce, nice to have you back with us. Computer science engineering, right? Yes. Yeah. And soccer player? Yeah. Yes. Uh, what else do you do? I play the trumpet. I like to read and I like to play my Xbox at home, so I, I play games. That's great. What kind of books do you like to read, Bryce? Greek books and like Greek mythology books. Yeah. Me a lot. I knew you were telling me about that before. And you know, reading is so important. Practically everyone who does well on Science Bowl is a great reader, just like you, Bryce. Good to have you back. Mark Anthony, nice to have you here. Now, you told me you've changed direction. You have a new career goal. Tell us about it. I want to be an aviator. Um, I just was always interested in space and flying ever since I was a little kid. Yeah. I used to watch JJ the jet plane. I mean, I just you just want to be up there, the freedom up there, right? Yes. <laughs> I think that's, that, that's a, so you want to join the Air Force? Yes. That's great. Now before, what had you wanted to do? Um, I wanted to work with robotics. Mm -hmm. I still kind of want to, but I, I like flying more. I would like flying more. And you know, so a lot of times in life you can marry your interests. Sometimes things come, to come together that you would never imagine, so don't give up on your robotics. All right, let's get back into our game. Pulling for 75. Martin Luther King has 115. Lots of points to give away, and the red team, Liam, start us out. Super 8 for 15, please. Super 8 for 15 points. Team, scientists have now determined that sponges are the oldest animals on Earth, but because they have no brain, no blood vessels, and no stomach, they're missing what three body systems? What three body systems are missing in these very the primitive the animals? Okay. Liam. The nervous system, the circulatory system, and the digestive system. You nailed it. You got all three. That's just what I wanted to hear. Good. Go, King. Green things for 10, please. Green things, 10 points. Teams, a lot of Japanese are eating as much of this K initial. Martin Luther King. Potassium? No, not potassium. Good try. Remember the category green things. Thomas Pullen, 
Japanese are eating a lot of this K initial brown algae because it contains a lot of iodine that will help stave off radioactive poisoning. What is kelp. this K initial kelp. brown algae? Kelp. Kelp it is, yes, that's it, good comeback. Go, green. Zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points, teams. Sometimes when people get on television and they see the camera, they freeze up. They are said to look like what kinds of ungulates? Thomas Pullen. Deer. Deer. Deers? Deer, like deer in the headlights. Absolutely right. You guys do not look like deer in the headlights. You're perfectly comfortable out here. Go green. Science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, if your body temperature goes from 98.6 to 102 and you are at a concert with a floppy-haired young teen idol, you might be suffering from Bieber. What, Thomas Bieber. Pullen? Fever. Bieber fever. That's right. Good. Go green. Dateline science for five. Dateline science for? Five. Five points. Teams, a little bit of this substance found on a cigarette butt recently led to the arrest of a person who had eluded the detectives for three years. What did they find on that cigarette butt that tipped them off, Thomas Pullen? Nicotine. Again? Nicotine. Not nicotine. What tipped off the detectives that they had their man? What did they find on the end of that cigarette butt? King. Plutonium. DNA. DNA. That's how they were able to link it to the actual person who had committed the crimes. Try again, Green. Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, if you saw the movie Up, you know that these brightly colored balloons picked up a house and flew it to South America. What was in those balloons? Helium. Tom, Thomas Pullen? Helium. Helium, that's right. Makes your voice go up. All right. 100 for Pullen, 130 for King. We got a game going here. Go, Nadia. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, the second digit on your hand, since it sometimes keeps the page open in the book that you're reading, is called what kind of finger? Thomas Pullen. Index. Index. Index finger. That's right. It's kind of a prosthetic bookmark there. All right. Go. Green. Green things for five. Green things for five. Teams, just as it doesn't hurt a human being to donate blood, this kind of tree can donate sap and not be harmed. Martin Luther King. What kind of tree? Um... Um, maple? And a maple tree, that's right. Taping, tapping a maple tree for sap to make syrup. All right, go. Liam. Let's get physical for 20, please. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, we all know that a proton is a subatomic particle, but what similarly spelled and sounding word is a... Martin Luther King. Neutron? Not neutron. Thomas Pullen. A proton is a subatomic particle, but what similarly sounding and similarly spelled word is a particle of light. Photon. Photon? Photon. That's what I want to hear. Good. Go. Green. Um, zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20 points. Teams, listen carefully. Two parts. Listen carefully. I need both parts. What three animals would not normally coexist in the same place, but Dorothy feared them on her way to Oz? Lions, tigers, and bears. And why not? Why would they not normally be found in the same place? Um, because they live in different, pass, pass, different pass, habitats. Pass it Again? Pass it to bias. Because they each live in different... <laughs> they each eat different foods. Habitats. They, they live in different... Foods. What else was he saying? Hab or, habitats. Habitats, yes. Different habitats, different ecosystems, different continents. Also, you would not find three top predators oftentimes in the same area. There wouldn't be enough prey to sustain them. Nicely done. 125 pulling. Actually, 135 up to 145. You now have a 10-point lead. Go, Nadia. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 25, 20 points. Teams, what disc admits light to the stage of a microscope and also is the name of the sheet of muscle, Martin Luther King? Lens. Not lens. The disc that admits light to the stage of a microscope has what same name as the sheet of muscle underneath your lungs that helps you breathe? The diaphragm. The diaphragm. Absolutely right. Yes, you open up the diaphragm to admit light into the microscope. Good. Green. Dateline science for 20. Dateline science for 20 points. Teams, what famed astronomer who determined the size of the universe has a road name for him at the Goddard Space Flight Center and also a space telescope? Thomas Pullen. Galileo. 
not Galileo, Martin Luther King, the famed astronomer who has a road name for him at the Goddard Space Flight Center, did studies to show the breadth of the universe. Also, there's a space telescope name for him. Um, Hubble. Hubble, that's it. Good comeback. Go, Red. Um, science potpourri for 20, please. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams, what inherited disease causes red blood cells to get crescent-shaped? Martin Luther King. Sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia, that's what I want to hear. Yes, sir. Red. Green things for 20, please. Green things for 20. Quick check of the score before we go there. King 175, pull in at 165. Green things for 20 points. The question involves a picture. Look at the picture, please. These are daffodils, of course. And like all flowers, they have four parts. They have leaves and sepals and stamens and pistils. But the daffodil has one extra part that is the same name as a brass instrument in a band. Thomas Pullen. Not a, a bell? Not a bell. Good try. Martin Luther King, the extra part of the daffodil flower that is unique to it has what same name as a brass instrument that is found in a band. A horn? A trumpet. A trumpet is what we're looking for. Try again, Red. Green things for 25, please. Green things for 25 points, teams. When you talk about vascularity in animals, we're talking about arteries and veins. But if you're talking about plants, Martin Luther King. Xylem and phloem. You got them both for 25. That's what I want to hear. Go red. Zoo parade for 25, please. Zoo parade for 25 points, teams. Cats are normally pentadactyl. But in Key West, Florida, many of the cats are polydactyl, meaning they have too many of what's? Martin Luther King. Fingers and toes? Yes, we're going to give that to you. Absolutely right. They have too many fingers and toes. Sometimes they have six, sometimes they have seven, instead of pentadactyl, which is five. All right. Come on, Poland. Let's jump back in here. Go, Liam. Body systems for 25, please. Body system 25. Big one in that category. Multiple choice question. Teams, a tracheostomy is the replacement of your voice box, the retrieval of a foreign object stuck in your throat. Thomas Pullen. The replacement of your voice box? Not the voice box, no, Martin Luther King. A tracheostomy, is it the replacement of your voice box, the retrieval of a foreign object stuck in your throat, or a surgical hole placed in your throat? A surgical hole placed in your throat? Yes, indeed. A tracheostomy, if you can't breathe, oftentimes a doctor will do that to save a person's life. Go, red. Let's get physical for 25, please. Let's get physical 25, big one in that category, teams. The open-ended Richter scale that is used to measure the strength of earthquakes has never reached this lowest double digit number. Name it, Martin Luther King. 10.0. 10.0 is, that's right. We've come close, upper nines, but no tens. All right, go, red. Science potpourri for 25, please. Potpourri for 25 points, teams. Natalie Portman, who was the best actress this year for Black Swan, was also a wonderful science student. She was one of the finalists in this premier science fair Thomas Pullen. Chemistry? Chemistry? Not chemistry, no. Martin Luther King, I'll give you 25 points if you can name this top science fair in the country. Some of the winners who have gone on have won Nobel Prizes. What is the name of the top science fair in this country? The National Science Fair? <laughs> That's a good try. It used to be called the Westinghouse Science Talent Search. Now it's the Intel Science Talent Search. Nicely done. Here's your last question. Dateline for 25 points, teams. Smallpox is the only disease man has ever conquered. But Bill Gates and his money wants to wipe out this other disease. Thomas Pullen? Polio. Polio, absolutely right, that we associate with Jonas Salk and his vaccine. What a nice way to end our game. We'll be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. Don't you go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. At the top of the show, we promised you some super scholars, and that's what we delivered today. Science Bowl doesn't get any better than this. We are so proud of all of you, not just the six of you, all eight of you. What a season you've had. You've all got those books as a small thanks for all that you've done, and we hope you'll continue to make history in all that you do. Our final tally today is Thomas Pullen, 190, Martin Luther King, 275, Zach and Liam and Ann Therese, congratulations, Jada, congratulations, and Miss Reyes, a step toward repeating as county champ. Let's see some smiles over here, this good-looking group. Mark Anthony and Nadia and Bryce and Max Million and Miss Fox, thank you for bringing them over. Our thanks to Mr. Manning as well. You guys are going places. Loved having you here, loved having you here. See you next time, the second of the semifinal matches. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.